First up, an inventor from the West who's got no interest in swimming with sharks. My name's Dave Smith. I'm 46. I'm from Perth, WA. I'm a surfer, I'm a business owner, a dad, and everything I do is for my family. I've got two beautiful kids. Jake is eight, Charlie's 14. Uh, I've had them down at the beach since before they could walk. I want my kids to be passionate about surfing and I want them to be safe. The 63-year-old split from her swimming group and that's when the shark attacked. The beach was closed immediately after the terrifying encounter. Locals have told us there's been a big great white menacing surfers and divers here. It's the second shark attack off the West Australian coast in less than two weeks. With all the shark attacks in WA over the past few years, I thought somebody needed to actually do something. My product's about uh, giving people safety and it's been a personal crusade to me to give confidence back to surfers. I'm passionate about my product and I think it's what the community really wants. I'm very confident these guys are going to take up this proposal. My name's Dave Smith. I'm from Western Australia. My company's called SurfSafe and my offer is 5% for $120,000. My product is designed after a spate of fatal shark attacks across Australia and the Indian Ocean. And what I came up with was a product that's built into a surfboard to deter shark attacks. There is an electrode on the front of the surfboard and an, as a rear electrode in the back of the board. This puts out an electromagnetic field, three metres around the board, a six metre diameter. We've tested this and it deters shark attacks. We tested it with bull sharks, tiger sharks, and finally we got to test it with white sharks. So what we did was put the surfboard in the water. We put a number of baits on the underside of the board. We had the sharks come in, we let them take the bait so the sharks were confident in the surfboard and taking the bait. With the device activated, the sharks wouldn't take the bait. Come on, look, mate. Why don't they go near it? The electromagnetic field affects the receptors in the nose of the shark, so it's like pretty much getting a punch in the nose from any of the sharks that come within three metres of the board. Dave, is it out there in the market already or is this a new prototype? We put this product out nearly 12 months ago. Currently, we're selling it in Australia and New Zealand. And what do you say? What was the last? Uh, the sales in the last three months have been $47,000. And what, what about the month one, month two, month three? Uh, they've increased. They've been increasing like by around 25 to 30% each month. And how are you selling it? Present, they just buy it online. It's still a manufacturing level and we will be working on getting that into a retail product. What's the, what's, what's the size of your market? How many surfers are there in the world, mate? Uh, I'm, just, I'm dealing with the WA market at present. It's, it's around 30,000 regular surfers in the water. Worldwide, there's just under one million surfers. So what does it cost you to manufacture these? We've just been working with an Australian company, so they've been around the $150 mark. Uh, we wholesale it for $300. So at your $150, then, so you make, you have 100% markup into the wholesale space of $300? Yeah, that's right. Excellent. And then what do they retail? You have a website and they retail for They something? retail for $389. Plus fitting. $389 plus fitting, yeah, so they come in at, at around $469. What's a surfboard cost? Yeah, average surfboards cost around $600 Australian dollars. OK, so this is going to add the cost of that's the surfboard. That's right, yeah. You're a bit of a surfer, aren't you? I'm a very poor surfer. But I do love it. And you don't like getting bitten? No, funnily enough, I like to be on top of the food chain. I do yeah. like to be number one. Yeah. Um, my whole family is a surfing family, and we've got quivers, which is a new word I just discovered. It's a group of surfboards. Like arrows? Yes, it's like a flock of birds, but it's a quiver of surfboards. So the average person might have two or three boards if they're semi-serious. No, they would, but it's expensive. My quiver is 10 boards, it's $4,000. We do have customers that come in and they, they are passionate about saving their lives and their families' lives. They are putting three in there, absolutely no hesitation. I've got customers that put six in there. We are working on a removable product and that will be in the future development. And this removable product, how much work, how much time, how much money is involved in that? 
The part of this 120,000 we need is for development in, the, in that removable product. This is, this is the one that the global surfers and the global community are after. Does the new one go on the board or on my wetsuit? Because I scuba dive as well. We are looking at uh, different ways to attach this to other products. The thing with me is that if you were standing here today and you had version two, which was, you know, when I scuba dive, I can wear it. Um, when my boys are going out with their wetsuit, it sort of sits in their, in their cap. I would be jumping on it like nobody's business. Please let me know when you have version two, but at the moment, I'm out. You got a valuation of 2.4 million on your business, haven't that's you? That's right, yeah. It's quite a big valuation for a business, obviously, that's starting out. Yeah. Um, how did you arrive at that number? Uh, look, we just sort of went on the potential market. We, we know the way the business has taken off. We only put it on the market three months ago, and it's taking off. So what are, the, what are the forecasts, projections? What do you think is the size of the market that you can realistically achieve? We, we know that we can move 1,000 units in the next year. And with a, with a global strategy, especially into the US market, uh, we know that we can sell 50,000 units there in, within one year. Dave, I think uh, I'm in a position where I can make my mind up about this. When I look at your valuation and your estimate, you're going to sell a thousand, you're going to make a hundred thousand dollars gross profit if you're lucky in the first year. I just can't correlate the one hundred thousand dollars of sales to a valuation of, of 2.4 million. So, from an investment point of view, I'm out. Dave, I love your ingenuity. You are quintessential Australia, and I love it. But it is highly risky. I'm out. Dave, I, um, if I could give you some feedback. Your valuation is very optimistic again, very high. Um, your percentage is low. I was toying up whether to make an offer and increase the percentage, but you only want to sell a small portion of the business and you've got a fairly lofty valuation. And I don't see that my connections are really going to be that valuable to this business. So, I'm out. Thank you. Steve, where are you at? Um, uh, you know, you are actually a nice bloke. I'm not here for sympathy. No, but this isn't sympathy, man. I'm, I'm on the edge here. My biggest problem is I don't surf, so I don't fundamentally get it. And I'm sitting next to a surfer who's not going to invest. Your, your valuation is ludicrous. 2.4 million, mate, is such a large valuation for where you're at. If you're going to get 120 grand out of me, mate, it's going to be for something like 45%. So, Dave, how do you react to 120,000 for 40%? 45%. 45%. Yeah, Hang that's... on, is that the offer? Is that an offer? Yeah, it was an offer. It's an offer? Yeah, it is great. I'm glad to get an offer. So, where are you at? Perth entrepreneur Dave Smith's shark deterrent has already chased off four sharks. But then Steve Baxter put a toe in the water. If you're going to get 120 grand out of me, mate, it's going to be for something like 45%. Is that an offer? Yeah, it was an offer. It's an offer? So, yeah, it is great. I'm glad to get an offer. So where are you at? Well, I mean, I'm grateful for your offer. Uh, but just at present, I, I couldn't accept that. I appreciate it, but um, it's just, at present, that's just too much for me to offer uh, up. So, do you have a counter offer? Just uh, to prod and poke you into a negotiation here, can we? So, no, no, that, that um, so you're not even gonna counter with some percentage, mate. You're just gonna say, no, nah, I think, you know, let's just not talk at all. Is that where you're at? Yeah. So 5% is it, 5% or nothing, I'm going home. Absolutely. Well, mate, I just can't do that, right? 
So I'd, I'd, I'd love to, and I believe I can add value. Yeah. But I am out. OK. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for presenting. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Thanks Dave. Thank you. Pleasure, mate. Good luck. Thank you. Bye. I've spent two and a half years on it, and finally it's taking off, and there's no way that I can give it up at 45 percent Australians are known for their ingenious inventions. Hello, here we go. Chairski is a simple yet ingenious product where we have created a collapsible backrest that pivots on top of the ASCII. Alrighty. Being an entrepreneur doesn't mean they've just got a good idea. Do you guys have like an order for like a, a thousand ASCIIs? Do you have like a, a plan? No, not yet. It's a product. It's not a business yet. So I'm out. Yeah. Does anyone else want a beer? You have to be able to take that idea or that innovation through to becoming a, a real business. So we tap the barbecue on the barbecue plate, we tap the spinners. That is oh, sheer on. genius. <laughs> Small things. <laughs> there is a difference between inventing things and actually running a business and making profit. It's a really cool set of tongs, right? It's an idea. I hope you get a licensing deal, but I'm out. How many times have you heard people say, that was a great product, but the business went bust? Not even a pooper scooper that helps with the weeding can get the sharks excited. Oh, don't you dare. No, 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 no. I'm just, what do you think? Oh, come away. It's not an investment for me, but I'm really, really glad you came to Shark Tank. But perhaps our next entrepreneurs can sway the sharks with their plan. They believe their product will revolutionise the way backpackers roll. Our product is so unique. There's literally nothing like it we found on the market and so excited. I'm actually struggling to take myself at the moment. I mean, it's been a long time coming. We know the product, so it should be good. Hi, I'm Tom, and this is Dylan, and we're from The Handbag. We're here today asking for $45,000 for 15% of our business. We are 23-year-old mates from Sydney. I work as an early childhood educator, and Dylan is a lifeguard with a background in IT. As you can probably tell, we love the outdoors, and that's where our invention, the handbag, came about. And that's what we bring to you today. We turned to Tom's mum, who is an amazing sewer, and we developed two prototypes. It's a hammock, backpack, and towel, all in one. So simply undo the carabiners, undo the clips, then it opens up, the flap hangs by your side, so you've got a nice little beer pocket here. Yeah, a nice. Little... <laughs> Important. On the interior, you've got the two interior pockets that you can put any clothes in, it turns into a groovy cushion. Uh, both the canvas and the toweling are 100% cotton, and we have 14 different designs. You then use the handbag straps to strap around any secure point, and you use it as a hammock, and you've got a span of about three metres. With your help, we hope that we can become a must-have and go-to product for all beach, camping, and other nature-centric activities. Good on you. All right. I didn't see the bag before you opened it up. This is the bag? Yeah, he's when got When it's one just a bag seen. here? Your mum is so good. She's quite brilliant. So is she a shareholder? <laughs> she should be. She should be. <laughs> yeah. I'm just pointing out. Oh, God, poor Andrew. Hang oh, on. I thought... Ah. 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 Here we go, here we go. Yeah, it's probably it's quite, be quite cozy. Be careful, he'll snore it? quickly. <laughs> it's a couple. Can you rock me a bit, please? <laughs> oh, okay. Definitely. Oh, just... and will someone just get out the fan? Oh, okay. It's quite cozy. <laughs> it is quite cozy. <laughs> Hammocks are great. They're so comfortable. They're so cool to go in there, and they, they are cool. I've got some teenagers that this is appealing to a lot, I would think. <laughs> and it's $45,000 for 15% of the company. Yeah. Great. Which value is your business at? 300 so what have you done that justifies your valuation of $300,000? Well, our, uh, the figure of $45,000 would cover the cost How much have of... you sold? We have sold zero. But we have orders in place. We had... How many? We had um, over 50 in um, six weeks. Uh, and they were obviously pre-orders as we don't have stock yet. How do you know people actually want it, mate? You've, you've pre-sold 50, maybe. Have you taken money for those 50? Yeah, well, we have on Indiegogo. I so say you've, um, you've, you've had an Indiegogo campaign and you've yeah. had 50 sold on that. As well as also A orders. Kickstarter one, but that Sorry. was a, um, until it was complete. We didn't get that completely. So, so what, happened, what happened with the Kickstarter campaign? Oh, yeah, we failed completely. 
lately. Okay, right. <laughs> so we didn't get our money. So yeah. the um, <laughs> the product <laughs> didn't work in the market. Yeah, well, that's only because we're... It it was... Apparently, marketing is a really big thing. And apparently. You did. Yeah. <laughs> like, who knew? <laughs> and and right. we're learning. Well, oh, I'm, I'm, enjoying, <laughs> I'm enjoying your um, your fun approach to business. So do you have an intention of working full-time in this business or are you wanting to sell the concept? Um, no, definitely work for this. is like... Do you see yourself as business people? Yeah, definitely. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can see job. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've got sunshine on a cloudy day, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, you can say that. <laughs> so Dylan Tom, apparently he's going to require a little bit of marketing. Kickstart has spoken. If we could bottle your enthusiasm, if that's all it took to be in business, that'd be fantastic. But I'm out. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks. Enjoy the journey, but sorry guys, it's not a business for me, I'm Thanks, out. Andrew. Right. Fair enough. Thank you. You guys have a bit of a rule. I try and invest in traction. And yeah. you've actually got no traction. Knock out for enthusiasm. I'm out. Zero. Good luck, fellas. All right. Thank you. I actually really love you guys. I think keep going, and that passion and enthusiasm will actually get you there. <laughs> Sell it at markets. Understand who's your market for it. Just too early for me. I'm out. Right. That's okay. All right. Thank you Thank very much. You. Thanks, guys. So now you have one shark left. <laughs> So you got the ingredients, guys. You're passionate. This is the next must-have across the, the teenage landscape or the backpacker landscape in, in Australia. Absolutely. Look, you've got a lot of learnings to go through. There's no doubt about that. But what I absolutely admire is the have-a-go attitude that I love to see. So don't let these guys dampen your enthusiasm. So you're making an offer? No, I'm not going to make an offer. I'm pretty relaxed that you should go out through that door without any money from me, unfortunately. The fact you've come on the show is a fabulous thing. We've seen some great Aussie have-a-go attitude. I agree. That's what it's about. I agree. Good luck. See you, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Keep growing. It was good fun, like, especially seeing them all in Perth. That was awesome. <laughs> Next, the tank is being taken over by a couple of radio renegades with a big dream. We're question. about to give up our day jobs. Our radio jobs have become millionaires because we've got an idea that we think the sharks are going to love. We've been developing this idea for a long time now. So we're going full on in here and we'll probably strip them all of millions. Here we go. Cash time. <laughs> Fantastic. Here we go. Steve, Just lovely to meet you. Yeah, Fantastic. likewise. Mate. Flat white with a stevia, is that Thank right? Thank you very That's much. With your, with your yeah, sweetener. Yeah, it's it's that is a long, long black coffee Thank for you. you. Thank you very much. Oh, mate, thanks. And Andrew, just a latte for you. Oh, just oh, a latte. Thank, Thank you very much. Here. Hi, guys. We're Fitzy and Whipper. And today we're looking for a $300,000 investment for 5% of our business. Because we believe that we've found an easy, cost-effective and lucrative solution to a problem that's affecting nearly half of all Australia. Just under half, guys, 46%. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's See. just on the eastern seaboard, yeah. but it's slowly making its way over. What were your names again? Uh, I'm Whipper, and Whip. this is Fitz. And I'm Fitz. They've got T-shirts. They've got T-shirts. Whip. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You have your own radio show, don't you? If you could just sit yeah. back and listen, thanks, Andrew. That problem affecting nearly half of Australia is death breath. In Breakfast Radio, Andrew, it's one of the most dangerous parts to our job, and it's a silent friendship killer. And that's why we've decided to come up with a brand new uh, concept. It's called The Mup. Tell them about it, mate. OK, The Mup. Can you do me a favour and those coffees that we kindly donated to you guys as we walked in, if you can actually lift them up and look on the bottom of the cup, there's a little tab there. If you can pull them off, you will find the solution to death breath. You will find a mint. Basically, the pitch is a cup, a mint, a mint, a cup, a mup. Ta-da! <laughs> I know you guys like numbers. I can tell you this much. Cafes sell around a million coffee cups every day. Mm. If we're able to get 10% of that, right? You're looking at 100,000 people that we'll be saving and the people that they interact with with horrible breath. Yeah. Isn't it the worst thing in the world? And at five cents a cup, 
God, the numbers are simple. It's a million dollars. Yep, it's two million dollars. It's two million dollars. So we've, doub we've doubled our <laughs> revenue already. <laughs> and there's only sort of one more display we want to show you guys, and that's let's get rich together. Yep. Am I right? Oh, nice. yeah. 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 Oh, we're oh, at, do you want to meet them up? Okay. Who wants meet to meet them up? Meet them up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There he comes. Oh, there he comes. Oh, oh, everyone, of course, oh, needs a novelty that. mop. All right, so bring it <laughs> over here. I like big mops and I cannot lie. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, mate. Oh, what oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hey, look at that. And there you go, demonstrated on a life size version. So I'll just. Fitzy and Whipper, uh, I'm Steve. G'day, how you going? Hi, Steve. Steve. Hi. Whereabouts are you guys from? Uh, we're from Radio Session called Nova. Your request is for $300,000. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> Go on, in the business. Oh, in the business. Oh, in the business. Oh, right. Oh, Just um, more of these. Like, how good is this? Get four more of them. I love you guys, and I definitely think I could work with you. I have no idea where we'll go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you an offer of 500000 for 5%. Awesome. Wow. Look, this is a no-brainer. The offer is... 500,000 for 5%. So 500,000 for 5%. Oh, no, no, no. Do I hear any other offers? Do I, any other offers? Any other sharks want to make an offer? Naomi. Lady in red mm. is oh, dancing darling. with me. I'm going to match Janine's offer. What? Of $500,000. But I'm only going to take two and a half percent. Sure, we make a mess. Don't show. Just keep it cool if you can. Sorry. Those, those, those offers are ridiculous. Mate, if you just would like to maybe go for a bit of a break, Steve. Steve can we get Steve's Steve been on the floor please? too long? I think. I've been disappointed by the approach these guys have taken. I think they've come in undercooked, underprepared, haven't answered the questions today, uh, and to be honest, because of that, I'm out. Glenn, you've got heaps I'd of sell cash, a couple man. of pet farms if I was you. So would I. I like your idea. I'm suspicious about you two, that's all. So I need to put some money on the table that's going to get you to think about disappearing early. So you're just basically buying us off? Correct. Make all it right. rain. What, what's what you your got? offer then, mate? Well, 300k for, th for 100%. Oh, whoa. <laughs> We're going to have to talk about this. Do you want to go in the tunnel and have a chat just to think about it? Oh, Make a decision. Okay, one moment. Thanks for your patience. You know what? I think they're a bit. Hungry. I think they're all a bit amateur. Let's not go with any of them. Five hundred thousand for five percent. You're dead right. We're getting ripped off. Yep. They're playing us for a fool. Okay, I didn't see. come here to look stupid. All right, let's, let's get back in there. Hey guys, decision time. First of all. Um, we would just like to thank you guys. With some fantastic generosity shown and a great understanding of your business knowledge, uh, which we appreciate. Um, and we're humbled by some of the offers that you've thrown at us. And our decision today is we're going to knock all yours back and, and wait for that phone call from Google or Facebook. Uh, this is a billion dollar idea. And just before we go as well, I know we're all mates here now, become very close. If we hear that any of you guys are going to try to steal this idea, we will come down hard. Have a look at him, real hard and huge. Idea. Understand? Yeah, this does not leave the room. Yep. I'm a little offended. Well, right. unfortunately, that's correct. business, isn't it? Thanks. Appreciate your wave, um, wave map. Appreciate Thanks, your offer. Thanks, guys. All right, see you. Thanks anyway, guys. Thanks, Fitzy. Thank uh -huh. you. Boys, wow, that was a. That was a, a big knockback. Three big offers. Why did you knock Three them back? Three big offers to you. Three big offers to the average man. When you have a billion dollar idea, you don't take the piddly stuff. You don't take the little deals, right? We need Top Shelf. We need the big, big deals. And we've already got two big deals. Mm -hmm. Fitzy and Whipper. Put a price on that. <laughs>